Hey guys, so I've got my top high PPD sunscreens. And really quick, Ike and Lincoln wanted to both say hi because I got treats for them. So, okay, there's one treat. There's Ike. Okay, ready, Lincoln? Sorry, this is very... Okay, that was their appearance for the day. It's hard to get them in for it, but I did. So, good boys. Okay, so I've got my favorite high PPD sunscreens and a few runners up. So let me start with my favorite out of the lineup. That's the Bioderma Photomax uh, Cream. The cream version has a higher PPD than the fluid version. Uh, when they were publishing the PPDs, this one has a PPD of 42, which is pretty high. Uh, there's certainly a few sunscreens with a little bit higher ones, but I'm having a difficult time getting them in the, getting them in the US. The Norman UV Cure is one um, that I'm really trying to get my hands on. But anyway, so we've got that one. Another one with the high PPD is the La Roche Posay Shaka. This one's always mentioned. La Roche Posay has some great sunscreens. The Shaka, if you get the fragrance free version, has no fragrance, but it does have a little bit of alcohol, a lot of alcohol in it. Um, but a lot of people really like it. And I'm becoming a bit of a sunscreen snob in the fact that if it's got alcohol in it, I can forgive it because I can put a moisturizer that's really hydrating under it. But if you have very sensitive skin, it might be an issue. But Nice thing about the, the uh, Bioderma, no denature alcohol, no fragrance. So, okay, another one with a high PPD, that is the P20 sunscreen. Uh, they've got SPF 50, that's this one. This one has a PPD of uh, between 40 and 45. Uh, I'll be reviewing uh, another sunscreen from this brand this week, so be sure to check that one out. But they're very similar. They have a lot of spray sunscreens, but I really prefer cream, lotion, gel type sunscreens as opposed to spraying sunscreens just because with spraying sunscreens it's just unless you're very very diligent it's really easy to miss it's really easy to use it from too far and not get good enough coverage so sometimes a cream is just a little bit more guaranteed and my finalist okay so it looks like groom beauty but this is actually the ultra wrist sunscreen which is nearly impossible to get it's very difficult to get in the U.S. but groom partner with altruist basically just to put their name on the bottle but it also says altruist on it do you see that it says it in yellow it's hard to see but uh if you're in the u.s beautybay.com sells groom products and this one goes in and out of stock a lot but you can actually buy their sunscreen if you look up the groom brand go down to sunscreens this is the altruist spf 50 which this one has a PPD of 45, and PPD really is persistent pigment darkening. I can talk more about that in a different video, but really how well it protects your skin from getting damage. Specifically, we're talking a lot about UVA damage, which really is something that we're learning more and more about. 10 years ago, there really wasn't much knowledge about it, even just 10 years ago, and it's come a long way. So like broad spectrum, when you see that on U.S. sunscreens, they're talking about UVA rays, broad spectrum, all the spectrum, UVB, UVA. And if you're in the U.S., any U.S. made sunscreen really can't compete with the big boys in other countries because our FDA hasn't approved any new filters in my lifetime, and I don't think they'll approve any other new ones in my lifetime. So we're really kind of screwed. So you really have to smuggle things in. Okay, another really great brand is Ultrasun. I've got several of their different sunscreens over their extreme. I've got this one, I've got their face fluid. Uh, this one is their face anti-aging sunscreen. Uh, this one has a high PPD. I haven't seen it published anywhere, but generally if it's got the UVA circle on it, uh, generally that means it's at least one third of the SPF is the UVA protection. So this one, and based on the filters this one uses, I'm pretty convinced this one provides great protection from burning and damaging rays. Okay, another runner-up is the Uriage Verisun 100. This one doesn't get enough love. It does have a bit of a white cast, which some people don't like. But, you know what, if you're going to be on the beach for a day, it's better to have a little bit of a white cast and no sunburn than looking good and being burnt the next day. So this one may not feel the most luxurious or elegant. I reviewed it if you want to check that out. But it is really effective and uh, does a great job. And another one... The Eucerin SPF 50 Mattifying Sunscreen. This one has a fair amount of alcohol and it's definitely geared towards more oilier skin types. I don't typically use this one in the winter so much, but uh, in the summer when my skin's more hydrated, I'm going to be outside sweating and things like that. This one's a little bit better. 
and provides pretty good UVA protection. And the final is the Avene SPF 50 cream. No fragrance in this one, really nice. Uh, no real white cast to it, applies nicely, feels slightly moisturizing, provides pretty darn good protection. So in my opinion with sunscreens, generally you really can't go wrong with La Roche-Posay, Avene, Eucerin, Ultra Sun. Uh, Uriage has some great ones as well. Uh, P20, um, Ultras, this one's got a crazy amount of filters in it. Although if you have very sensitive skin, I've talked to quite a few people that have had sensitivities to this one just because it does contain a whole lot of filters. It's very, very strong, but you might not need this for a day going in and outside, but if you're gonna be outside a long time, the Altruist is a great option. Um, so, and the Bioderma, this one, this one to me is a really nice one just on a daily basis. Might be over the top in winter and the UV index is like zero, but anyway, if you're concerned about UVA rays, don't buy a US made sunscreen unless, unless it's like you're not necessarily going to the beach, or at least as long as you know that they're not the greatest. It's no fault of the manufacturers. They have to play by the FDA's rules and the FDA. Even an act of Congress cannot get them to make and approve more filter research. Congress did something like five years ago, mandating them to do it, and what did they do? Nothing! So, I don't know. Skin cancer is a big issue. It's on the rise like everywhere. So, sunscreen every day, at least SPF 30, and you're going to be much better off than the alternative. So anyway, those are my top high PPD UVA sunscreens. I'm interested in hearing from you guys. If you have a favorite, uh, leave a comment in what it is, and I will see you guys more later. Thank you so much.